السلام عليكم أهلا وسهلا في درس اليوم Welcome to the daily synopsis about the coordination words in specific the coordination prepositions in Arabic حروف العطف So let's go In Arabic there are a lot of coordination words In this lesson we are going to focus what is called in Arabic the coordination prepositions They are nine و in the meaning of and Sometimes but rarely is used in the meaning of with أو or ف so or then ثم in my Saudi dialect we say ثم and also we say ثم depends on the dialect from which part of Saudi Arabia it means then after that next the next one أم it is in the meaning of or when you have options especially when you ask questions this one or this one either or here we can use أم in the meaning of or in this construct then لا in the meaning of not also la can be used for the construct not nor for the meaning of nor then but lakin also in arabic we have this word bel which means lakin is not used much in today's spoken days but we still use it it's used most of the time in the modern standard arabic context when we are saying but also the construct of not but and also when we want to correct something I say for example uh, write three paper uh, no four papers so in this case it becomes like but or no for the correction however we can replace always well with the word lacking in most of the context then we have the last one hatta hatta it actually comes in different meaning and in different usage when it comes as a coordination preposition it takes the meaning even but also it can come as a reasoning preposition for the meaning for in order to and comes as an adverb for location or time in the meaning of until but in today's lesson we see this usage when we say even as a coordination preposition not a reasoning preposition not as an adverb I want you to note that حروف العطف the coordination prepositions has the same grammatical case of the next word which is called in Arabic al-ma'atuf and this word usually is a noun or a pronoun as the word they connect to it which is called al-ma'atuf alayh yeah now let's take examples for every preposition usage the first one wa in the meaning of and and sometimes with Sarah wa hajar afdalu jiranana waladi wa sara yalabuna fi al-hadiqa this is how I say it in the was standard Arabic. Now in my Saudi dialect, Sara and Hajar أفضل جيراننا. ولدي وسارة يلعبون في الحديقة. أو أعطيني البطاقة الخضراء أو الحمراء. This is in the MS. In my Saudi dialect, أعطيني البطاقة الخضراء أو الحمراء. فأنا أقرأ التعليمات. فأفهمها. فأبني أغراض أيكيا. In my Saudi dialect, أنا أقرأ التعليمات. فأفهمها فابني أغراض أيكيا ثم أنا أقرأ التعليمات ثم أفهمها ثم أبني أغراض أيكيا إن ما يساود ذلك أنا أقرأ التعليمات ثم أفهمها ثم أبني أغراض أيكيا I want you to keep attention that any of these prepositions they can replace when they come in the same meaning or even they can replace with one of the location prepositions or adverbs that we have studied in a previous lesson like for example when we would like to say after replace here for example ثم or ثم with the word بعد then أم الفراولة أم الأناناس سواء فراولة أم أناناس كلاهما غني بفيتامين سي أعطيني إما فراولة أو أناناس so what I wanted to show you specifically in this example that the word um it comes in the meaning or for options, right? But when we want to use it in the construct of either or, either in Arabic it can comes either in the word sawa or in the word imma. This is either either. If the word either is chosen to be sawa, we can use um in the meaning of or or the word here au. But when we use imma, we cannot use am because it becomes redundant. They are close to each other and Arabic, they don't like to make like very bad Arabic. Like you can say, 
أعطيني إما فراولة أم أناناس. No, this doesn't work. Just say أعطيني إما فراولة أو أناناس. When we use إما, we cannot use أم in this either word in Arabic. But if you want to use سواء, you can say سواء فراولة أو أناناس or سواء فراولة أم أناناس. Yeah. The next one. لا نريد السلام لا الحرب. لا نريد المحادة ولا الكره بين الشعوب. Then التين جميل لكن أحب الليمون. لا يوجد عنب في حديقتي لكن يوجد ليمون لا تنشغل بالقراءة فقط بل بالكتابة كل يوم اكتب سطرين بل صفحة يحب الفواكه حتى الحامضة منها يأخذ الجميع للنسها حتى أولاد الجيران yeah. By the end of this lesson, I would like to show you that most of the time in Arabic when you would like to say with, we don't really use the preposition wa. We use the adverb ma'a. And not to forget that the adverb, which is in this case it will be ma'a, make the next noun or pronoun in the genitive case. While the adverb itself, it will take the accusative case. But for the coordination prepositions in Arabic, they don't take any inflection case in Arabic. Example. Anna Ma Binti. We finished from today's lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to cover the punctuation marks in Arabic. So please stay tuned. Please, before you leave, subscribe to my channel. Give the video a thumb up if you like it and found it useful. Share it with friends and family who are interested in learning Arabic. Write in the comment section your opinion and your questions. I will send to them as soon as possible. Please follow me on my page on Instagram, Learn Arabic with Hannah. Thank you for watching. شكرا على المشاهدة مع السلامة goodbye